Hi everybody, this is Ms. Ham. I'm gonna show you how to use Washington Latin's ebook collection. The platform we're using is called Sora. Um, if you've ever heard of Overdrive, this is the Overdrive product for schools. Um, and if you use Libby uh, at the public library, this is the school version of the Libby app and I'll show you how to connect the two um, as I show you how to log in. So the first thing you need to do is go to the website soraapp.com and then find our school. Click find my school and we are actually a part of this mid-atlantic shared collection. So I'm going to look across and see if I can see our actual school listed. No. So I'm going to go to my school isn't listed. Um, type in our zip code. See if I can find us that way. No, that's not probably the best way to do this. Um, so I'm going to just type in Washington Latin. Yep, there we go. I know the address is an older address for us. That's okay. It's still our collection. So just click, this is my school. And then we'll select us from the drop down menu. Sign in using Washington Latin Public Charter School. Now, your Latin email will work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, this is your username and password, it's your same Washington Latin email stuff. So I'm just gonna type in my Latin email, click next, type in my password. Okay, click next. And then I should get redirected to the landing page. Okay, so this is our shared collection landing page. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Just scroll through. Um, they'll put a highlight page where they show you some special collections they have. Uh, you could look at different subjects. We have about 600 books right now, um, but as more schools join the shared collection, they'll add more for us. Um, so you'll see this collection grow and change over time. Um, we also as a school may be able to get some more eBooks as time goes on. So just know that what you see today may not be all we have but it's a good start. So um, to see more, um, some of the other things you can do are, um, you can do things like change your name if you click these three lines here. So I actually clicked on my own name um, and edited my nickname. So if you want your collection to know you, you can do that. Um, the other thing you can do is add libraries. So you see, I have the District of Columbia Public Library here. If you use the public library, all you have to do is click add a public library, uh, type in District of Columbia, choose public library, not the public school, click this is my library, click OK, got it. And then it's super easy because when you sign into Sora, you can actually see both at the same time. So that way you can see all of the ebooks that you have access to as residents of DC this way. The only other thing I wanna show you uh, really quickly before I get this starter tutorial is show you how to check out a book. So I'm gonna to go to Young Adult Fiction. Let's say I want to check out the selection by Kira Cass. So if I click Borrow, Um, I'm able to start to see the book right away. The other thing you can do, so there's an in-app browser, there are also ways to download the books um, to Kindle. So I borrowed a book. Um, if you go to options, you can send the book to your device um, and click send to Kindle. I like doing that because um, then it'll take you to your Amazon stuff to sign in, which I'm not gonna do. Um, if you're familiar with using Kindle books, you know how to do that at this point. Um, but this way, if you already read on Kindle, you know that Sora works with it really well. But if you don't have an ebook reader yet, you can actually just use the browser one and you can see the book um, any way you like. By the way, there's a mobile app for this too, um, both Android and um, Apple. So just take a look um, if you prefer to read on your phone or on an iPad or other tablet, that's always an option too. Um, so just take a look at those mobile apps if you prefer. I'm showing the computer because I know that um, most of you will be able to read this way if you like. All right, so this was the short intro primer on how to use Sora. I hope you all check out